don't be a grouchy granny when it comes to trying to get pictures, say from your dermoscopy, onto the system. But you're going to need to use your phone, or the practice phone ideally. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you the quickest way that i found to get pictures, say from dermoscopy, into System 1, and that is using the System 1 app. So first and foremost, you're going to need to download the app, get it all set up, and we'll jump over to my phone and I'll show you what it looks like. So we're going to boot up the app here and showing from this, it's going to ask you to log on. I've got it linked to my face ID and then make sure that you click on your practice. And the main bit that you're looking at is your tasks. So this is down at the bottom. Now I've blanked out because I've got loads of tasks there. I do apologize. All the patient's names and you're going to set a task to yourself. So hit me. Then once you've got that, you see the little attachment at the bottom right hand corner. You're going to click on that and then take new photo. And then I'm just going to take a picture on my thumb just to show you what's going on from that point. But take a picture of your mole, whatever you need to do from that way. It asks you to do a little message as well. So I've just put here, you know, I'm going to put here picture or something like that. But do it, do whatever you need to do. OK, so once I've sent this, it's the, going to then pretty much update system one in real time. So we're going to hop over to system one and I'll show you now. So this is what the task looks like. You're going to then process it by that top right corner and it pulls it up as a letter. From this way it's completely unassigned so the first thing you need to do is to find the patient. So I'm just going to put it to Mickey Mouse who's our test patient just so that we've got an idea of what to go from that way. The other bit that it is going to ask you to do is to set the date of it and that's in the letter details from that way. Okay so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it to the date that I recorded this um, and then that's it really and so what you can do then is once you've you can adjust where the picture came from so you know depending on your own practice protocols you can put it say as a dermatology letter or something like that okay i'm gonna have a good deep uh, deep review see if we can adjust it from that way so the other bits as well are looking about where you send it and where you're going to distribute it to and once you've done it, treat it as you would do a letter. So hit complete. It's going to ask us to confirm that we got the right patient. And we're happy to leave a couple of bits blank. And then instead of it just ending up in a workflow, what we're going to do is um, at the bottom right of it, to just hit complete so that we know that we've done that letter and it's going to automatically file. I'm going to go over to Mickey Mouse's notes just to confirm that it's there. And I'll show you exactly where it is. So it's in the same area that you find all the letters and all the attachments from that way. So let's have a look. Um, at that now so have a look there so you can see from the clinic letter date right hand click and then sort of view the contents and it's a beautiful picture of my thumb and then that allows you to update letters send it along with ERS etc etc so that's it really really quick and simple really great way of doing it if you want to learn more about demoscopy and more interpretation of it I'm going to leave a link to an excellent YouTube channel called Primary Care Demoscopy. I've worked closely with them and it is a superb YouTube channel. Um, so please make sure you go and check it out and subscribe to it. If you found that useful, give me a like and also chuck a comment in if you've used the app and what other features you've found. Dr. Dave Heimarsh, GP Templates. Good luck.